Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ask Aaron for this week. Uh, um, last week, we didn't have any questions. There were none. And I I don't make things up, so I must have preached a really great sermon. I've been just excellent at explaining all of my points. Or just no questions. But uh, we've got a couple this week. So, uh, as always, these views are mine, not the church's. Hope they agree. Um, and we'd love for you to continue the conversation in the comment section below if you want to do that. Um, I gave a message this past week on forgiving ourselves when uh, we've done something and, uh, you know, other people forgive us, God forgives us, but we seem to struggle forgiving ourselves. And so... Um, if you want to watch that, hillcityhudson.org backslash media. You can watch it on the app, YouTube, or Facebook as well. But I have a couple questions based on that message, which was really the story of Moses. And so we're going to jump into these two questions here. Uh, was Moses' father-in-law named Jethro or Ruel? Exodus 2 versus Exodus 3. There's actually uh, a third name, uh, Hobob or Habob or something. Um, there are competing theories on this uh, as to why uh, Moses' father-in-law is given separate names. Um, much like Simon Peter uh, was called Peter um, or Simon or whatever, uh, there is the idea that uh, there are different names given in different languages or different um, titles um, some people say that Jethro means uh, like an abundance, and so that was a title given. Um, so there's there's really differing theories or um, you know sort of explanations for this, um, which out does the uh, it's a. Uh, confliction in in scripture right it's it's something that proves that scripture isn't true no um lots of people call me different things right some people call me pastor my kids call me dad my husband my my wife calls me her husband or uh aaron she also calls me sweetheart schmoopsies uh lover also she doesn't call me any of those things but um honey when she she says honey, she does call me honey. Anyway, point being, um, there are explanations for this, and you can Google it and go through all the like different or competing explanations. Um, there are, are ones that make total sense. The answer is I don't know what the real answer is because nobody does as to why there are these three different uh, versions of names. One even is that uh, the last one, uh, whatever it is, Habob or Hobub or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is, um, is a separate person, but he comes to attain the position of Moses's father-in-law through patriarchal uh, system and, and uh, Jethro or Ruel passes away and then uh, Mr. H becomes uh, the father-in-law through patriarchal law. There's there's different explanations. One of them is the real one, um, and I'll, I'll let you decide. What I want you to know is none of it invalidates Scripture. Um, it's just a different title or a different name for a person that happens in the Old Testament, it happens in the New Testament, right? You've got the Apostle Paul, whose other name is Saul, Greek versus uh, Jewish name there. Like, there's there's an explanation for it. Which one it is, I'm unsure. And uh, you can do some research just by Googling what was Moses' father-in-law's name, and there's stuff that comes up. You can look through the examples and find out for yourself which one you think is the most viable. But it doesn't invalidate the fact that Scripture is true. Okay? Other question, last question. Is regret, we talked about being able to forgive ourselves, is regret 
an emotion sent by God or Satan? And uh, as I sometimes do, I'm going to answer neither. I, I don't think it's sent by either person. I think it is the result of our actions. Uh, it is the result of of us doing something sinful, something that goes against God, something that goes against our call to be uh, lovers of other people and to treat them with respect and kindness and all those things. Now, regret is used by both God and Satan. Regret is used by God to uh, convince us or cause us to... Um, repent, to ask and seek for forgiveness, to change our behavior. Uh, God uses regret throughout Scripture and throughout, uh, you know, our lives to make us into different people, right? To, to cause us to seek Him and allow the Holy Spirit to uh, formulate uh ways that we you know need to change and then help us become that changed person satan uses regret to keep us down to cause us to feel shame to keep us from becoming the person that god wants us to be to keep us from feeling as though we're worthy of forgiveness and god's love or other people's forgiveness and their love and it's just like any thing really that exists, right? I, I've used this um, example before, but I am recording this uh, Ask Aaron video on my iPhone. And my iPhone can be used as a Bible. It can be used to help me uh, look up information and teach and preach and do all sorts of really great things. My iPhone can also be used in a lot of ways um, for me to sin, right? It can be used for me to um, text things that are sinful or look at things that are sinful or uh, waste time, which is sinful. Like anything and everything can be used for God and God's purposes or for sin and uh you know people even use the bible to sin right they misquote it they uh use it to uh, say things that aren't really the things that god says and so it's it's all a matter of who and how something is used regret is an emotion that we feel because of things that we have done that are wrong but um it's up to us whether we allow God to use those things to motivate us to change and become a different person and a better person and the person God created us to be, or if we allow them to become uh, thoughts and feelings and emotions that keep us from being the person God wants us to be, which is how Satan uses that stuff. So that's what I have to say about that. Those are the two questions for Ask Aaron this week. As always... I appreciate you watching. We would love for you to tune in for uh, week four of our series Mistake this coming weekend. We're going to talk about secret and hidden sins. Um, so I would love for you to do that. HillCityHudson.org backslash media. You can watch on Facebook, YouTube, or the app. As always, thanks for asking Aaron. We'll see you next week.